All right, listen, we jump right into these things, man. You know, this is uh, this is going to be our third episode of the Come Up With Cage. This, it's funny. You know, we call it that. Um, this guy needs very little introduction, big Mike over here. Um, but, you know, we try to bring you folks out there who are doing different things. And, um, you know, I'll stop with the with the crazy, you know, the crazy long introductions on these because eventually you guys are going to know where we're coming from on these shows um, but I want to, ex- I want to expand your minds. I want you to, you know, make sure that if you don't know about the content that's being created out there, whether it's, you know, Gingy man, go back and listen, Marvel card guy from across the pond, or whether it's double coverage and awesome podcast that likes to call me out and make fun of me from Australia, Mike, <laughs> Mike over here, he, he, I'm going to call him the King of Facebook and we're going to hear, he's going to be expanding out into whatnot soon. By the time you hear this uh, episode, he probably will have already launched his, his whatnot breaking, um, you know, uh, but obviously it, it's a more than a one-time thing, so you'll be able to find him on there. Um, but uh, without further ado on this, I'm going to bring in Mike Martinez. Mike, tell the folks who you are, where they can find you, where, what the Facebook channel is, and the whole deal, man. What's good, Luca Nation? I'm a, I'm a heavy listener every morning. <laughs> I'm a truck driver, so I wake up at like 3 a.m., and I, you, you guys get me going, man. You keep me, uh, keep me awake early in the morning. <laughs> and uh, I'm heavy on Facebook. We started a Facebook group about two years ago and, uh, you know, have a few thousand members on there. We go heavy on Facebook, just started doing whatnot, um, having a launch party Friday night. Not sure if this will air by then, but um, I found love with whatnot because of the instant. See, my whole thing is when I break, um, I'm all about interacting with uh, the people in there. You know, yep. I can't stand people just reading off the cards and, you know, I, I like to interact with people. So either if they're just coming to hang out or if they're in the break, I'm all about, you know, I'm I'm all about that. I don't I don't bullshit if it's a Kyle Guy Silver making believe it's the best card. It's like, oh, my God. You know, it's that, Kyle that Guy. Me, man. That Damn. is not me. Thank so. you for paying hundred dollars for this break. <laughs> this is the best six dollar card in the world. Know, that, you don't do that. Kills, no, that ain't me, man. It kills me. So I, I'm just authentic, man. And I just feel like I need to be seen. So when you when I heard you guys were doing this, I was I was all over it, man. That's you know, I feel like you guys blown up because you guys are awesome. Well, and, part uh, of like the, you're talking about the entertainment of it, right? Whatnot allows you to do that, right? You break it, but yeah. also, you know, people see you, you're interacting, you got the comments, you got people involved, right? I mean, that's yeah, fun. I don't know if you ever did Facebook. There's like a 20 second gap between what they type and when you see it as a breaker. And it's, it's gets awkward sometimes, yeah. you, you know, it's like, so, but whatnot's instant. You can play whatever music you want. So there's no getting shut off. Cause you're Look rocking Jay Z, which <laughs> is awesome. So no. So let's talk about Facebook, right? Because no, I, I, I used to, t- I used to tell people, um, you know, that I'm too old for Facebook. Because you used to be like, you know, it was all the kids doing their Facebook. Now I tell people I'm too young for Facebook because I think it's just all grandparents looking at pictures of their grandkids. I know. Now. You always talk about how old you are, man. Yeah. I'm rocking on IG and stuff. And I'm, <laughs> I feel like I don't know what the hell I'm doing on there. Oh, well, you know, we got to. We got to do our stuff. So let's talk about Facebook. The first, the first and foremost, before we get too far into this, tell yeah. people what the name of the group is, where they can find you. You know, I'm sure you got thousands of people already on there. Uh, a lot of people listening to this are already in the group. So shout out to the group as well. Any, any of your members in there. But, you know, in case this is somebody's first time being exposed to you you know it's a great sports card group it's um you know obviously full full uh service group not just breaking but yeah. tell everybody the name in case they want to sign up for it you know and join the group yeah it's above the rim sports cards on uh facebook we also have an instagram but we don't really do many breaks but i'm i'm gonna start you know spreading out a little bit i decided to t- start taking this a little bit more seriously nice. and give this a real shot you know yeah. Well, listen, um, you know your stuff. And I mean, the group, uh, group of, what a, besides breaks on Facebook, because I'm not on Facebook, we'll probably, Luca Nation's got to expand there soon. You know, where, 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 as soon as we've conquered internet, the yeah. uh, Instagram entirely, you know, different parts of the internet we'll move over to. We haven't really, we haven't really branched out of Facebook yet. But so what else goes on in the group? Do we have like, uh, you know, uh, is it like a union? Is it like, yeah. you know, scammer protection? Yeah, like, no, I had to deal we, with this guy vouching. Like, what's yeah, talking about? Got, I got this dude, Tim, and he's like a super, uh, super, you know, he weeds everybody out, you know? So we don't just let anybody in there make sure we're mutual friends and, you know, not on scammers page, all that stuff. And I got to be honest, Facebook is so much of community. Like, people send my kid cards because they know he uh-huh. collects Shaq. You know, he's five years old, like people like it's, it's real, it's tight. It's solid. I love, I love the community of it. Whatnot is more for breaking, but when it comes to actually having, you know, 
close people and doing trades and the vouching and all that stuff, Facebook, I feel like is nothing touches it yeah. as far, you know, as far as I'm concerned. And Mike, listen, it's an important thing, right? Because I mean, we're not on it, but you know, when Andrew and I talk about, you know, different plays, different cards to buy, different, you know, guys to look for, and then how to exit those cards, you know, like, you know, a great example. We always talk about Tyler Hero, but you know, if you bought Tyler Hero when Andrew told you to, and then sold it when he told you to in the playoffs last year in the bubble and stuff like that, you can make some money. But if you sold it on eBay, yeah, yeah, you can burn returns. There's problems, yeah, there's issues. Facebook is is you know, there are people looking for cards you could trade on there. You, do people sell in your group also? Yeah, no, it's buy, sell, raz. They do those fatals. I mean, they're you know they get crazy with that stuff. But I mean, you can basically do anything you want on there. I mean, you know, it's so everything. I'm gonna come on the group because I'm gonna tell you a perfect example of what this is good for. Right, so I have a card. I have it on eBay right now. Right. Um, and let's just say it's a UFC card and okay. it's a guy who's fighting soon. Yes. Right. And he's got a big fight coming up. And it's one of those things where, like, depending upon the outcome of the fight, it could be very good. Or it could be very bad. Right. The card has, you know, it's, it's like an earnings for a stock. Right. If yeah. the earnings are good, that stock's going to go up. If it's bad, it's going to go down. Right. So I have it up. I've got a lot of offers on eBay, you know, hundreds of dollars for this guy. It's an auto limited, the whole deal. But I'm afraid. Return. Seriously, I'm afraid that if I if I sell it to somebody and the fight happens and he loses, it's going to get returned because the fight's yeah. within the 30 day window. Yeah. Now, as a seller though, I, it's not like I can I can hold it. I'll sell it to him today and hold it until after the fight and say, "Oh, I'm canceling. I'm canceling yeah. because like you know, it's it's done. He can give it back to me. There's no back." So I love Facebook, right? Because look, if somebody wants to gamble, this guy's going to win on the fight, right? And especially in your group with it, it's legit people. You've weeded them out yeah. the whole deal. Somebody wants to take a shot and get this thing for 50% of what it would be if the guy wins, wins this fight. Yeah. Um, then then go ahead and take your shot. And it's it's no backseas. It's what we love about Star Stock, right? It's yes. one of those things, right, where it's a legitimate, uh, you know, it's a legitimate thing. And it's that is a huge thing, man. It's a huge thing in our hobby that's it's missing. And so everybody needs to be on a group like that and have a, you know the ability to move some stuff around. I will be there. Trust me. <laughs> uh, listen, Kay, I, I looked for you on there. You're nowhere to be found. I don't Facebook, have a Facebook okay? account. I don't have a Facebook. I, have, I don't have an account. I have nothing. I have no yeah, Facebook man, account. You need to check it out, buddy. I lurk. I'm mean, listen. Too many ex girlfriends. That's what it is. You know. I mean, you got to be careful with Facebook. I'm just playing. But no, I mean, it's you know. But that is a huge thing. It's a huge thing you provide. The razes are cool, right? I mean, that you know. That, get, listen, it gives people a chance to get in on a card at a at a low price to, you know what I'm saying? Like if the card's a hundred bucks, 10 people at $10 a spot. And I, listen, I know some people are against that kind of stuff, but I think it's cool. I mean, you know, so in a, uh, you know, you just in a rat, you know, ration, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. No, it's, I mean, I'm supposed to say raffle, but it's basically a raffle. I mean, yes. it's, you know, you got a shot to get yeah, no, you're not you, to say that. Yeah, okay. I mean, you got a shot to, you know, get something. Obviously, you got a shot to get nothing, but it's 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 almost yeah. like, you know, it's like it's like a break. It's it's, it's the same type of gambling as that, you know what I mean? And it, no. it, it also is another way for, you know, somebody to move a card, you know, somebody to move a card and probably get, you know, market yeah. value for it and without you get, Yeah. Yeah, you able to get market one. value, yeah. And which is move, great. No, I love it. I love the idea. It's just another way to move cards and uh, not have to worry about like returns and stuff. You know? So, give me an example. What's one of the coolest cards that's been like razzed in your? Um, you know, I love seeing like Luca rookie silvers and stuff. Oh yeah. Get in, you know, and some people do like mega ones where it's a hundred spots or you know, and then you really be able to get in at a, at a cheap price. And uh, you know, I I know plenty of people that one spot. Uh, you know, a hundred spot Raz and one spotted it and hit something huge like that for a, a really low cost. That's and, amazing. Imagine, then, imagine. You know, there's no better feeling than that. You know, imagine that's putting cool. in like that's a, a, a hundred spot on a on a yeah. on a Luca Silver. You know, what is it, sixty five bucks a shot or seventy or you know you know whatever it might be. Um, and you're getting a Luca Silver for sixty five bucks or seventy bucks or whatever that is, seventy five dollars, whatever the Raz, Raz comes down to. That's amazing. That's yeah, awesome. Cool. No, I love it, man. It's cool. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff going on on there. And, um, you know, I used to do, I did the podcast thing for a while and it started off every week, then every two weeks, every month. I, you guys are animals for putting this out daily, man. I, for real, people don't realize how rough it is to, to put out podcasts like this. You guys seriously savages, both you guys. Well, savages. you know, what people don't realize is that, you know, by, by like the middle of the day, I, I have, it's like hunger pains. Like I actually <laughs> miss Andrew. 
So if we can do this, I don't know if I'd make it through a day without talking to the guy. You know what I mean? It's like, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow it's, 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 see, it's toward the end of the day here. I haven't got my Andrew fix yet. Let's go. Let's talk. Um, no, nah, I, I appreciate that. And, you know, the truth is it's one of those things, man, where, um, you know, you, you, you are what your patterns are, right? So, you know, that's, this is the deal, man. You know, we, we want to come out here and, and, and do this every single day. And the sports yeah. cards and the hobby, you see it. You know, you see it in your groups. I guarantee you that now with your group the size it is, you could do a daily podcast also. All you'd have to do is scroll through what people yeah. are talking about. You know, today you could talk about Albert Pujols getting released or, you know, you could talk about any of the number of things that just crazy happened, you know, in the last week, right? Yeah. And this group's talking about this guy. This group's talking, hey, what about this card that just came out over about a release? Soccer cards. You got, you know, who's going to win the championship? I mean, there's just there's just so much going on always that I will tell you, even though we've done 300 and something episodes, never once did we come on and we were like, what kind of content are we going to do today? Yeah. There's always something. No, I feel you. And for me, it's more about – because I drive a truck for 14 hours a day. So I'm yeah. – thin man but uh, like i said i'm i'm making moves to see if this if i could really do this and i just feel like i need to be seen give me 15 minutes and i'll make you love me that's how i feel that's Watch it me break for 15 minutes i love and, it you know that's how that's Listen, what go I'm find doing. this guy 15 minutes you're gonna <laughs> yeah, love him. i mean that it really is i've seen some breaks it's no personality i've seen some breaks that it's like whoa you know this is all right i could watch this even if i don't have a break it's like entertainment yeah. if i'm not no skin in the game i'm still gonna watch this so that's important and yeah honesty is fun man i mean i've watched so many breaks where it's like oh look what you got it's a kevin durant <laughs> base card I know you paid a hundred dollars to get into this, but oh, hey, man. look, he's holding a basketball. You know, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. So it is. Yeah, be be authentic, but yes, yeah. it's tough, man. That's a tough line to uh, you know to tell because you still have to be excited for people. You know, you still want to get some energy in there, yeah. but uh, you know, do it when there's a real banger pull. That's the that's no, the key. So that's how I feel, man. So that's it. It's above the rim. To, above? I gotta hear truck yeah. driving. I'm taking it sideways here. That people will get to know you, right? So yeah, yeah. do you use a CB? I do have a CB in my truck. Yeah. That's it. So what's the King, handle? Is it King Big Midas, Mike? King, King Midas, Midas. Which is the same thing I run by on Facebook and on whatnot. That is my username, King Midas. King Midas. So everything yeah. this guy touches turns to gold. So people yeah. will be like, well, breaker, breaker, King Midas, what's your 20, <laughs> right? Like, you know, the whole, like, uh, you know, we're looking for Smokies. Right? Yeah, you do that yeah. whole thing, that whole. No, thing. I do, man. I love it, and it's similar to what I do in the. You know, I just love talking shit and bullshitting with people. You know, on the on the on the CB and the breaks. It's all about how it, it makes the day go by fast. You know, I love it, man. That's I'm it. all about interaction. So, so are we used to my, my are we, a little glimpse. We used to drive <laughs> down. You know, I don't come. I come from meager meager upbringing. So, you know, our family vacation was we drive down the eastern, the east coast down to Virginia, Colonial Williamsburg, we do every year. My father would get a CP in the car, make sure he wasn't getting pulled over by cops. But like, you know, you, you know, you know we'll look at, and, and it was just funny, like how many different ways can you say you're looking for the police on a yeah. CP without saying police, right? Rollers, <laughs> you know, Smokies, you know, yeah. I'm like, what are you, you're a professional CB user? I always wonder, oh, like, man. all the people in the trucks, like, oh my God, this idiot's in, in, his, in his Camry. Pretending that he's you know, <laughs> pretending he knows what the hell he's talking about, right? Um, so. No, they still be coming up with words. I I think <laughs> I think they make up new stuff down. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is what you got to do. Um, I, I will I will buy into a break. You could tell me what I'm gonna buy into. I will buy into a break if the entire. I'll do a personal. If the entire break, you do it as if you're on a CB. <laughs> like, breaker breaker we got breaker breaker cage coming in here you know it's like, you do it like that you know hold i will do it i'll buy whatever product you want me to buy you could break it but you got to do it that way it'll yeah, be a lot of fun that's I'll it me home with me. yes <laughs> oh, i'm excited now dude that's a good stuff all right so listen we got the whatnot stuff we got the breaking group um what else you want the folks to know about you besides that we, uh, you know i know there's a card show coming up in philadelphia you're gonna be at that in person you want to come and track you down there maybe if i yeah, come, no, I can track I'll, you down. I'll be there i'll be there they uh, i think they sold out all the tables real quick before i could even get one over there but i'm gonna be there handing out stuff handing out free stuff t-shirts all that all that good stuff i'm nice like i said i'm i'm ready to push above the rim over the top so definitely come out to the philly show i went last time they had it it's it's a huge show, tons of people, tons of great 
you know, cards and stuff there. And I met I met Andrew there for the first time. That's where I met Andrew a couple of years ago. Well, that not that might not exactly be like a sales point <laughs> for the show. Like, you know, that, you know, I don't know whether or not people would say, oh, yeah, look, I can, I'll go there. I get a chance to meet Andrew. I don't know. That might detract some people from trying to go there. No, I'm just playing. Uh, maybe I'll meet Andrew there. You know, yeah, you, you, know, you gotta come. You're close enough. You can make. I'll come pick you up, kid. It's a few. You you, are you gonna pick me up at 18? Yeah, wheel? I'll take. I'll take you in the track. Oh, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> I'll this let might, you pull the horn. I'll that might be some good. <laughs> that might be some good content, man. It's gonna be some fun. <laughs> big, big Mike and Cage rolling up to the Philly show in the 18 there wheel. What do we got in the back? That's yeah. That, yeah. Reality TV, baby. Let's do it. Oh man, this is, this <laughs> sounds awesome. All right, guys. So listen, uh, we keep it short. We keep it sweet. Want to introduce you to you know guys who I think are doing great stuff in the hobby. Mike is definitely one of them. Above the rim on Facebook. If you're not in there, get in there. You will soon see me in there. Yes, I'm gonna sign up for Facebook. Uh, maybe Cage Lawyer. I don't know. You know, I'm not that original. So we'll have to do a <laughs> Facebook page. We'll get in there. We'll do some breaks. I'll uh, I'll jump on whatnot with you. Um, and yeah, give this guy some love. We're gonna start Appreciate to see more it. of them, and we'll keep you posted. Maybe, maybe we'll do a maybe we'll do a thing at the Philly show. I want a oh, shirt. Yeah, I mean, you know, if there's somebody out there who's got a shirt that might fit me, it might be you. Hey, so listen, <laughs> I'll put big sexy on the back of it. That's Woo, all. I love yeah. it. That's I'm going to have to give yeah. that to somebody else because that's I'm not sexy. I'm the opposite. But listen, Mike, we appreciate you coming on. Yeah. We'll keep it short appreciate and sweet. what you're doing, Cage. And uh, guys, give give this guy a follow. I mean, uh, give him a follow on Instagram, even though they're not, you know, crazy on Instagram. Go go jump on his Facebook group. And, you know, if 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 you happen to be on whatnot, and, you know, go uh, go check out his yeah. breaks on there. Mike, King appreciate Midas. Thank you. Appreciate King you, King Midas. Love it. Take care, man.